Hey guys, it's time for a weekly makeup basket. I know it has been way too long, so I will jump into all of the products that I've picked out. The first nail polish product I have is this Nicole by OPI. This is one of the roughless, it's one of those textured uh, nail polishes. I got it in an Ipsy bag a while ago, probably last summer. And this is in the color On What Grounds. And it's this really pretty minty teal color, and I can't remember what I thought of this one. So I want to pick it up, use it. I have been obsessed with this color. This is Wet n Wild's Private Viewing. It's a really cool nude, but it's a little bit more on the like pinky blush side and I love it. I had it on my nails um, for my last few videos, I think, but it was probably a good week and a half um, that I wore this on my nails, and my manicure lasted a really long time with this color, and I just loved it. It's one of those, like, I don't know. It was kind of like when you think about a nude, like, your lips but better. It was like, my nails but better. I just loved this color. I don't know if this was a limited edition color or not. If it's not, I need to go pick up a backup just in case because I'm kind of nutty like that. For face products, I have the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation in Ivory and I am on the path, I think I've mentioned this before in a weekly makeup basket or a project pan, I want to try to get through all of my liquid foundations and all of my concealers just because I want to narrow down to like one really fantastic foundation and one really fantastic concealer that I will just kind of have and use on the daily basis that is going to be really just look flawless on the face. Hopefully I can find those two things. I think that I have a good amount of concealers and foundations and sometimes you just wear them and especially if you're a project painter you want to use them up and they just don't look amazing. This one's not that one, I'm just saying in general, and plus those expire a lot easier. Um, this one's a really nice light foundation. I have it on today but it's the end of the night. It's like 8 o'clock right now so um, it's done some pretty good job though. It hasn't worn off too much. A little bit of my acne that I'm starting a new skincare routine so hopefully that's life changing because my skin is just, oi, it has not been cute. So I'm um, going to try this this week. got the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer and I have like this nice deluxe sample size. I think this will actually last me a while. Two blushes that I have here. This one I have on today and it is the Fashionista Blush and Juicy Apricot. I'm hoping my lighting is better. I just posted another video and my lighting was so bad that my makeup looked out of control. It's kind of hard to see in the viewfinder, so hopefully it's not looking like that today. But I'm using this blush and it's a really nice light peachy blush. You know, we still are in summer season, so I thought this would be a nice one to bring out. And it's got some shimmer in it, so it's, I'd say, more of a satin finish. Um, it's not really matte and the sparkle isn't too prevalent on the skin. I have the Down Boy by The Balm. This is a nice, more rosy, mauve color. Really pretty blush and I, as you can see it hardly looks like I have used it at all but it's just because it's so pigmented so we'll kind of play around with that. It's so pretty. Play around with that blush over the next week two weeks. I want to try to do these weekly. That one's super pigmented as you can see, but you can blend it out really nicely. For my bronzer, I'm just going to use my Aphrodite Shell by MAC because it's in my project pan. For the highlighter, this is actually something, if you've watched my decluttering videos, um, I did a whole series probably like six, seven months ago, probably even longer than that, I don't even remember. Um, and I had this product in there and I actually was going to give it away. And then I did another quick swatch of it and I kind of took it back into the collection. We've all done it. If you're a declutterer or a project panner, you know that where you're like, oh, I don't want this product anymore. Then you do another swatch and you're like, no, I can't give it away. Uh, so I kept it back. This is by Corez and it's the Wild Rose Powder Mineral Illuminating Powder in Luminance. Luminous? It's a powder illuminator. I don't want to spill it everywhere, but that's what it looks like. And I actually have it on my cheeks. It's kind of, oh, powder everywhere. Um, I have it on my cheeks today and it's really, really pretty, but it's probably worn off throughout the day. But I want to really give this product a fair shot and then after using it for a week, if I still am like, you know what, 
I don't need this, then I'll put it in my pile once again because I've started a new pile for decluttering and giving it to a friend or a family member who would appreciate it and use it more. We're gonna get into eye products now. We've got two eyeshadow singles. This is the L'Oreal Infallible and this is in Amber Rush, which is one of my all-time favorite shadows. If you don't have this, you need it in your collection. You will not regret it. I haven't been giving these shadows enough love lately, so decided to pull out a couple of them. I think this is called like Sherry Mary or Sherry Mary or I don't know how you say it, but I thought this would be a nice kind of fun end of summer. It's not really even the end of the summer for Arizona. It's going to be summer for a long time, but kind of getting out of the summer trends type of color to use. And then two palettes. One's a quality and one it's an actual palette. This is the Going in the Wild by Wet n Wild. And this was a summer palette, I think, from last year. And it's a really gorgeous one. It's got a nice mint. It's got some pretty purples, lavender, um, a nice dark green, and then some really good, just kind of natural. You know, this is like a bone color. This is a light gold. And I used it a few times when I got it, and then it's just been kind of in my collection. And so wanted to pull that out. Wet n Wild has fantastic shadows. We all know that. And then Maybelline Eye Studio Quad. This one is in Sea Sprite. I thought this green would be a really fun one to kind of use over the next week or so just because it just seems very summery and bright and pretty. So wanted to use that as well as, did I have any other eye products? Oh yes, one eyeliner. This, just to kind of play off of this green as well as the one from the Wet n Wild, I thought I would pull out one of my Sephora and Pantone Universe eyeliners. This was in the glitter liner it was the color of the year which was I think was it emerald was this with the emerald color and this one's just a cute little deluxe size it came with four of them but it's stunning one last eyeliner that I just saw that I had put in here this is the Milani liquify metallic eyeliner and this is in the color 02 silver and it's been one of my favorites uh, it's definitely well loved I've sharpened it quite a bit and I thought that I would bring it back out into the world and enjoy it. This is really pretty underneath the lash line or as kind of your pop of color in the inner corner. It's kind of nice and brightening. And then I have a bunch of lip products. So I wanted to pull this one out. It kind of caught my eye as I was looking through my collection. This is the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color Dolly Pink. And I think that's a very appropriate name for this lip gloss. I really like the formula of these NYX ones. They're very creamy, not sticky, has a great shine to it, and they smell really nice and sweet, so they're nice to put on the lips as well. And then I have, I just pulled two of the colors, but I got, I think, six, six or seven of the new Color Pop. These are the Ultra matte lips and I have been trying them over the last week or so if you watch my videos I've been wearing a lot of them in my videos and I'm still kind of deciding how I feel about it and once I use them a little bit more I'll do a swatch and a review video on them so wanted to add them into the weekly makeup basket so I make a point of using them as well as two of the new ColourPop lippy sticks but these are the like sheer ones are they called sheer sticks it doesn't say on here this is in juice bar and this is in kiddo so I think they're just called shears and I'll swatch one of them this one is in juice bar and I adore the regular lippy sticks and so these are just kind of like the sheer versions and so far so good when I've tried this I like these so far better than the matte ones but we'll test it out make sure and then a couple of the milani products so i was on the search for the new milani amori matte lip creams and they were nowhere in any of my walgreens or cvs's i think they were only supposed to be released at walgreens if i read that right i was reading a blog about it and online and so couldn't find anything near my location and so I started looking online there was nothing online and just last week I think it was is I saw that they came up 
and when I was like freaked out I was like oh my god I want all of them because I've heard amazing things about them only two of them were available and the first one that I got was a door and the other one I think is beloved but it's in my purse and to get free shipping I got two other <laughs> Lani lipsticks these are two of the matte lipsticks because I haven't tried any of these since they've come out any of the matte lipsticks really anything from Milani in quite a while so so far I've been obsessed if you can get your hands on the Amore matte lip creams by Milani please do try to do it online I think that they're fantastic and I really adore them more unfortunately than the ColourPop ones they're super comfortable on the lips so again this is the adore one and they smell like heaven they're like super cupcakey look at how pretty that is such a pretty nude love that and then I got the matte fearless color which I haven't worn this one yet but this one I think is gonna be delicious oh so pretty such a vampy color and then the matte darling which is actually what I have on today underneath or not underneath on top of max boldly bare and then I put this on top first time wearing it really comfortable on the lips as well which I've heard people rave about these matte lipsticks from Milani. So, got those little lippies that I want to try out. I've only had them for a few days because they just got in. So that is my weekly makeup basket. See you guys later. Bye.